Okay, we're going to take a uh, supersonic Remington hair dryer apart. I guess we'll start down here, I think. I need to take the screws out. Go here. Some things up first. This is what a hair dryer looks like when it's tore apart. Now, over the years, it, it's built up with dirt, dust, hair. It needs to be cleaned out if you're mechanically inclined. This is the heating element in here, and as you can see, it's right full of dirt, dust, and hair. Collects. There's the end. It's pretty dirty as well. I guess a lot more light would help. This is a... Let me see. Oh, it's a Remington. And to get this apart, I had to pull all the side pieces off because there's screws in behind them. The first piece to come off was this. It was on the end. Held it all together. Anyway, uh, just a short video to show you how it, how they look inside when they get dirty and when they stop working. Or low heat or low blower. Okay, I'm going to clean it out and show you as I put it together. So the next step would be to blow all this dirt out of here. And this is what I have. An air compressor.
And if you take an old toothbrush, that helps to get rid of a lot of the dust too. I'm going to clean it out. I'm about to clean it out so it lasts a little longer again. I think this one here is about four years old. And it's lasted pretty, pretty good. This is my second time cleaning it out. Fins also should be cleaned because they get pretty dirty in here. Again, just rubbing that toothbrush over it and get in the grooves and clean those little paddles out. Now, a screwdriver with a magnet on it helps a lot. Helps hold the screws. Or I should say that's magnetized.
And the way to magnetize a screwdriver is to 